Question of the day, what is your favorite party game and why? Now let me be specific. You can say things like two rooms and a boom or you can say things like even Meeple Circus, right? Typically that quicker speed game that involves maybe some dexterity or some guessing and teamwork and all that sort of stuff. What is your favorite party game and why? Let me know in the comments down below because today we are taking a look at pictures from Rio Grande games. This is a game that involves five different sets of manipulatables. I don't know if that's a word or not, but you're going to use these manipulatable things to try to get people to guess which picture you have. Maybe it's a blurry flower, right? Maybe which picture you have, and hopefully you can also guess what they have. The person who gets the most points for guessing and for getting guessed wins at the end of the game. So let's take a look at pictures right now, and we're going to do something interesting. I'm going to show you all five of these types of things and how I would make a picture with all five, five types of them uh, just to kind of dive into it. And we'll look at how the rest of the game is played as well as the house rule for a uh, tiebreaker. It's not a big deal when you can just stick to the tiebreaker of a shared loss or shared win, excuse me. But um, I'm gonna show you what we did, make it a little bit more exciting. Let's take a look at pictures right now. So here's the game set up. You set out 16 of the 96 cards in a 4x4 grid. You then label them A1 through 4, B1 through 4, C, D, obviously in the grid right there, right? Corresponding to these. In this bag, there are actual tokens that correspond to those grid numbers. So everyone will take one of these tokens. So ours is D1, which means we have this picture here. Probably best to orient the pictures fairly similarly in one direction as much as you can. So ours is this one, right? Our goal is to get everyone to try to guess this picture using the components in front of us this time. There are five different sets. You have these sticks and stones, and don't worry, we're gonna go through and try to actually show you how you'd illustrate each one uh, in just a minute, but sticks and stones right there. You have two long strings. You have just a set of blocks that you can use. You have these different random picture cards, and then you also have a frame with pixel art. You get nine of these to use, three of each color, uh, and then Put them in this thing, and hopefully you can get people to guess this picture based on this. So uh, let's let's get to it actually. So oh, one, one more thing, let's go through scoring really quick. Everyone will get a score pad. You'll mark every other person's name at the top. Your goal is to guess as many and get as many people to guess you. So there's an incentive to do your best. Um, you get a point for each correct guess you have, as well as you get a point for every correct guess people have on yours. Person with the most points in, wins the game. I will go ahead and tell you the tie is a shared victory. Don't like that. So we house ruled just a sudden death mode between the two winners or three of winners. We have one other person create one thing. You, we did it with this one. You could pick any of them using this image uh, and picking a random image out and using this component and trying to get the, whoever guessed it correctly uh, broke the tie. That's kind of the sudden death mode we did. I definitely recommend doing that if you don't like shared victories. But let's take a look right now, trying to get you all to guess. Let's do this pic picture that we chose using all five different components right now. All right, let's start with this one first. We're going to use the cubes here to try to get people to guess this. So you might do a little something uh, like this. Let's see. This might help, it might not. I'm gonna try this. You put these out here, hoping to get people to guess. Oh gosh, this is a lot harder because you have to choose, do I wanna use yellow or do I wanna use brown for the sand, right? Uh, and try to use whatever you would want to kind of get people to guess the closest. So you might do a little something like this to show that ocean fade um, into the sky like that. It's not easy, right? Or maybe you do want to represent the person standing there in the middle, right? So you've got to figure this out. I mean, these are obviously the clouds as the sand. People might get that. They might not. This is my favorite because it's a puzzle for everyone at that point. Next, we're going to go on to the sticks and stones. So same picture here. Um, this one might just be the hardest one to do for this picture because this is really, really tough. Um, and I'm just going to be quick on this. You might lay out the beach at the bottom down here. Uh, maybe a wave. Or no, maybe the person standing on the beach. Clouds up here. And I think I would leave it at that. Maybe hopefully they'll get that. Based, oh, sorry, you can't see that. <laughs> Maybe they'll get that based on what we have here. So you have the, the sand, the person standing in the clouds up in the sky. So maybe, maybe not, but that's the next option. The next one is these cards, or are these cards, I should say. You have to use two of them. You can't use more than five. You're gonna go through these cards and choose two 
to five pictures to try to get them to guess this. So in our case, let's see, maybe we want to do a, sh a shark. Uh, maybe there's, wow, this is not easy. Uh, one time before when I was trying to get people to see water, I did a fire and ice right on top of each other like this. And you can lay these out as if you're trying to draw the picture or if you're just trying to give a general idea. But I put the fire and ice on top of each other to give people the idea it's water. Maybe there's sharks out there. And what else could we use to hopefully get people to... Oh, look, there we go. There's a life preserver. So maybe people will see that and go, oh, beach. That's the one I'm going to go with. Not an easy one, but it is, in fact, a fun one. Uh, there are some that are just architectural pictures, so obviously these naturally become a good bit easier to use uh, when you're doing this. In fact, this picture is really difficult. They're not all this difficult. You saw some of the ones earlier, so yet again, you might do uh, something of this nature where you're kind of laying your pictures out. Now, you do have these little things to show which end is the bottom of the picture and how it's oriented, so uh, maybe you'd want to do a little something like this. Uh, yet again, kind of giving those clouds some impression there. I don't, I don't know. Maybe, maybe like that. Maybe that's, maybe that's what we want to do. Not great, but yet again, you are getting what you get. So it is a little random at times, but again, it's a good exercise for the brain. And then last but not least is in fact the string. That is two large shoestrings. And I'll be real honest with you. I have no clue how I'm going to do this one. Maybe I'm just going to draw the clouds in the sky and hope that that's enough to show people which one I want. So. That's how you do all five of those different ones. You heard how to win. Go, let's go talk final thoughts and you'll hear me talk about all that there. So that's pictures. Uh, this has shot up to like really, really, really high on my favorite party games list because you're doing so many different things. You're not just stacking. You're not just drawing. You're not just you know, getting people to use cards kind of like uh, code names or just one. And we love just one. It's probably my favorite party game, but. Pictures does something unique where each time you get a thing in front of you, it's a puzzle, right? My favorite one to do is the, the pixel one with the nine cubes. I think that is so brilliant. Trying to get people to guess what you're thinking just by using nine colorful cubes, but you only get three of each color. Uh, the next one, I really enjoy the one with like the sticks and stones. But all of them are really great, and there's so many cool things that you can do to try to get people to guess your word. Every single round was fun and enjoyable and a true puzzle to figure out. So pictures is really, really cool. Now, my least favorite of them is probably the string, not because I don't like it, just because it's the least useful to me, in my opinion. So uh, pictures is a fantastic game, phenomenal game. If you're a fan of party games, go get this game. If you're not a fan of party games, because this one is more of a brain burning puzzle, go get this game, check it out. Put it on the table, and I guarantee you this will be a huge hit with your group. So, uh, you know, I've instituted the new uh, rating system, thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle, a la the uh, Pro Wrestling Illustrated magazine, whatever it's called. So today, pictures, it's a big thumbs up, a massive thumbs up. Go and get a copy of pictures. You are going to absolutely love this game. So I'm Brian Drake here on the Dice Tower. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, etc. Or well, YouTube right here, but at Dice Tower Brian. Until next time. We'll see you. Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.